Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be making homemade candles that are at little to no expense at all. And the reason that I wanted to do this is because I love candles and I buy candles literally all the time. And the price really racks up. And if you like candles as much as me, then it is nice to be able to find a different alternative to make our own with no cost. So that's what I decided to do today and I'm going to be teaching you how to do so as well. So I don't want to dilly dally, let's just jump right into it and get started. So I am going to be using two different types of candle holders. Here I just have a small mason jar for a smaller candle and then I also have a used candle jar, obviously used, um, that's empty, that I can also refill. So I don't really know what candles are made out of um, exactly what they use when they make the wax, but I mean obviously there's wax in it and in my head I'm thinking Okay, what do I have at home that I can make wax with for the candle? And I knew exactly what to use. The perfect thing that I thought in my head that I have laying around the house that I can use to make wax is candles. I figured the best thing to use for my wax would be crayons. So I'm thinking I'm gonna melt down the crayons and then pour them inside for my wax. Now I have four different colors to choose from. For my first candle, I'm gonna go with the blue one. And the easiest way that I found to get the wrapping off was to just cut it and then simply peel it right off. Okay, so obviously I'm going to need a lot of crayons to make a candle and obviously it takes a lot of freaking time to peel this. So no worries, I went ahead and <laughs> I peeled a lot of crayons in advance for my candle. And these are just the ones for the little one. The little one, I decided I wanted to go blue with it, so, because that matches my tablecloth, so we'll see if that works. Okay, so next step is obviously they have to be melted down. Um, and we do want to keep safety first, so I have my gloves, my goggles, and a little heat pad. And next up, this is what I think I'm going to be melting them in. So we have that, and then my source of heat that I'm going to be using today. Good old blowtorch. I am so scared. Oh my god. Said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Oh my gosh. Bro. <laughs> it's on fire. Bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Which was too scary. I was worried that I was gonna light the table on fire, so I moved my project in here to the kitchen to attempt to use the stove. So that's what I'm gonna try right now.
once I poured it into the glass, it was still super liquidy, so I put the wake down inside and screwed a cap on and put it in the fridge to cool down, and now I'm just gonna wait and see how long it takes for it to solidify, and I will get back to you. Okay, so I just pulled my candle out of the fridge, and obviously I messed it up. Um, as you can see, it's all bubbled up, and there's literally like a crevice in here, and I was stupid about putting the wick inside, so the wick is also covered in wax, which means it probably will not light. Okay, so obviously my technique for this candle did not work that well. Yes, it did solidify, but it got all chunky and it just did not do right. So next, I'm going to work on doing the big candle and I'm going to try to make changes and fix what I did wrong with this one and hopefully that one will turn out better. Hey, what you cooking? So after pouring the candle in, then I put it to cool for several hours and it is finally finished. Um, it is literally such a beautiful color. It is the color of shit. Um, it is so pretty. Look, it is, it is stunning. Um, I did have some spillage. That's okay. Um, I actually have these clips on here to hold the wick, which I can now take off. So we have the wick in there, and it is just stunning. <laughs> and I also have my blue one. Um, I think my issue with the like hole in the blue one, literally that goes down in there, was fixed. Um, it isn't so much a hole anymore. It's more like a crater. But now I have to test them for the ultimate test to see if my candles are going to work. So here I have my lighter okay is it gonna light oh pretty so I'm gonna let that sit for a second to get the aroma um, now I will try to light this one let's see what's gonna happen here Okay, so now they both sit to get the smells. Okay, so this one is burning, but the flame is like burning down onto the crayon. But I mean, they're burning. This one is not doing right. The flame is not staying on the top. It's like going down. This one, on the other hand, is burning beautifully. What do they smell like? Well, They, this one smells amazing. Literally smells so good. Are you kidding? This one smells good too. I think this was 100% success. So now I don't have to go and buy a bunch of candles anymore. I can just go through that, 
super, super simple, very fast process to make my own with crayons around the house. Um, this one, the way that I managed to get this beautiful color was just by using all of the colors in the box. And then obviously I just have my blue one. Um, yeah, they were definitely a success. I literally love this candle to death. Um, I'm going to be using this constantly. And when it's gone, I will make some more that look exactly like this. Oh, this one went out. So I can just keep relighting this one every 60 seconds when I walk past it and it's still gonna work amazing. This one on the other hand is burning. Oh, um, yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend that this is how you make your own candles at home from now on. I absolutely love my candles. This was a success. Thank you for watching and come back to see more.